we're always looking to improve upon our product. Uh, we're always looking to get ahead uh, and also be cutting edge. You have to look at uh, what your customers need. We're our own biggest customer. We know what we need and we think that this is going to be great for all nurseries, not just ours. We started to look for different options, thinking out of the box, just to make sure that we are targeting the lack of drainage of the classic pot. Some of what the other industry trays provided us didn't quite fit the mold of what we were looking for uh, based on our growing conditions, because our growing conditions are different than across North America. So we combine the best things from, from, from the forestry industry and the best things for the greenhouse industry and we, we, we design ourselves something that will help us improve our product. The top three things is drainage, is root training, the other part is volume, soil volume. We find that you know the longer the liner, the deeper it can get into the pot, that way the roots can hit the bottom of the pot a lot quicker and start growing and finishing off a lot faster. We got rid of plastic. That makes a company uh, very friendly with the environment because we don't need to keep buying plastic and, and discarding plastic. That is good for, for, for everybody. The other thing that's really important is the big drainage hole at the bottom and the air channels along the side of the pot as well. We can say from three, two to three weeks, we can see uh, an, a real clear advantage from our rocker liners compared to what is uh, the resin in the industry. It allows the roots to properly form and go down into the pot Rather than spin around, creating kind of a root, uh, root bound type issues, we're getting nice training going down to the pot so that when our customers get the liner, they take it out, put it in their container, and it can continue doing that. Sometimes when you have the root boundness, you have to break up the roots a lot more. I think the other important part about this is we're getting more liners per box. So while the liner has more soil media, it is a little narrower, so we're able to fit 28 liners per box, which is about 1,500 liners per pallet, which is 1,850 more liners per trailer, as opposed to our classic liners. So you're cutting down on that freight cost, which is huge. To be able to decrease the freight cost to our customers is such an important part to helping our customers bottom line. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. One case, I had a customer, we shipped in February, middle of February, and by the end of April, he had saleable two gallons. And to me, that was like, I'm giddy just thinking about it. It's better and it's, and it's, uh, we're loving it. Mm -hmm.